That's it. Nothing bothers me anymore. I just take That's this good. stride. That is good. Stride, stride. Not, not with stride. <laughs> with stride. With stride. No, stride it's a product. I take it with some stride. I said I take it in stride. You said I, take I it think with you stride. said with. Yeah, I do. With stride on my head. <laughs> I open a packet of stride. <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's good. Wow. <laughs> Fuck. What, what are you doing? Shit, Ed. Oh, he's Edgaring you. Um, it doesn't bother him. What? Nothing bothers you anymore. What happened? I don't, I'm, I, I'm a new person. Why? What I'm happened? Smart. What? <laughs> Slow down. Not that new. <laughs> Slow down. What happened? That you nothing bothers you. Because I have a new technique. I thought you said you were going to eat into the mic. <laughs> right, you, that's so far same old dummy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> same old dummy. So far yeah, nothing is pretty much the same fucking thing I, I remember seeing. You and come hearing. in, you're miserable and negative. I'm eating some grapes. He's like those are terrible for you. I'm they like, are. How are grapes bad for They're you? They're not Rich? bad. I don't Let's care about the sugar. It's natural it's sugar. It's not uh, really. It's natural heroin. There's a big okay. there's a difference between natural and processed sugar. Shut up. And well, they're good for cancer. You still got to be careful with natural sugars. But with that said, they say grapes are very good for you. What do you mean careful? You don't run with them in your hand. I don't. How do you mean by careful? Don't act like you meant it seriously. <laughs> yeah, where is the new boss? Yeah, when are you gonna bring out the new version? Yeah, that's yeah. my new. Oh, oh I see. Okay. Okay. Right now he's wearing oh. a dumb mask. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna eat like an entire bag of grapes, but a few grapes are fine. Yeah, why you it's don't like think they're good fine? for you? I'll oh, say it listen, again. It's Mr. for Mr. cancer Puckin prevention. Addiction is given uh, addiction. Yeah, I know. Listen, you're right. A couple of anything is good. A couple. How about a couple, couple of bullets when you eat those? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. His third album. Uh, it's Fourth. a couple of any. <laughs> Actually, five. Oh. Uh, now, you and Kathy Griffin have a bet who puts out the most specials a month. Oh, Griffith. What's her name? Griffith? Not, oh, my God. I'm not helping you. <laughs> Try to do one a year. You do one? Oh, really? Yeah. What's wrong with the, one There's a year? No, That's I, good. Every two years. Is better? I put out a CD, yeah. Yeah. Oh, CD, sure. Every time I a film special. Oh. You're, you're saying grapes are bad as you put the fucking... Sweet. Splendor. Splendor. Oh, sweet. Exactly. Oh, All those fake Splendor. sugors are, are known to be horrendous <clears throat> for you. But the chemicals the in that shit. Splendor's the best stuff. The best stuff. But the grapes are way better. What you do is you take well, a few grapes, you cut them up, and then you put them in your oatmeal, then you got the sweetness for your oatmeal without the fucking chemicals that the Splendor gives you. Uh -huh. Thank you. Oh, yeah, but then you got grapes in your oatmeal. I've done it. I don't know. Yeah. That seems I've weird. I also do grapes on tuna fish. Oh, right. That's fucked up. No, it, no it's relish. not fucked up. Relish on tuna fish. All right. If you like relish on tuna fish, you go and cut up some grapes in half and put it on your no. tuna fish. You'll thank me tomorrow. Yeah, grapes no. are good on tuna. Really? I'm telling no. you right now. No. I'm they, telling you right now. Fruit does not go with tuna. It, it goes amazingly no. well. Celery. You can't a, a have. A grape might be okay because it's crunchy. No. Celery. 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 No, perfect. You do celery and grapes, and you got to make sure your tuna fish isn't too uh, mayo y. No mayo at all. No, all right. I like yeah, that's mayo. how you I like it. But I don't like if mayo. If you need uh, some mayo, go with the light mayo. You go with the, the grapes sliced Bump nice. Mayo. Bump and, mayo. And some celery, and you'll be very happy. Go with Miracle Whip. <laughs> That's sweet. It's miracle whip. That shit. Oh, miracle whip is so good. It's no, like mayo with more sugar you, on it. Yeah, at that point you go mayo. No, you go light skin. I mean, light, not light skin. You go light. <laughs> yes, mayo. exactly. Now I can finally agree with Rich. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you put on hamburgers or turkey burgers a little coleslaw. You ever do that? I don't. Know. And some French fries. This guy's a communist. A little coleslaw and some doing? french fries. Right on the burger. Huh? Right on no, the burger, the french fries. Insane. And Cheeseburger with lettuce, tomato. Close no. the fucking lid and eat. No. Lettuce is a waste. Nobody tomatoes likes tomatoes and pickles. No one likes tomatoes on burgers? I like a tomato on a hamburger. What the hell's wrong with you? I love some tomatoes, some crisp lettuce, a pickle or two placed discreetly. Yeah, but they never give you the they never give you the nice lettuce in New York City when you order no, they a don't. fucking burger. They, they, that it's the wilted, see through shit they get. Don't you. throw a fucking pickle on top of the burger and wrap it in that paper either. We unwrap it and you got a top of the your bun is green water, mushy green pickle, pickle, water? pickle water on your fucking bun. You almost sound it's like a touchy situation. I was yeah, gonna yeah. say you almost sound like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Tom, you hear my joke or something? <laughs> Pickle juice, blows. fucking pickle juice on my burger. <laughs> you got it down too. Let's, no, let's no. Make some videos. I wish. Let's make that some guy videos. does such a good Tony Soprano impression. It's crazy. I Rich. like a good pickle. What kind of pickles though? Now we got to fucking well, deal with what pickle works. <laughs> cut or uncut. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of pickle? Uh, a good dill. 
Uh, well, I, yeah. do, I do like a good uh, dill. We can all agree that the, the, the gherkins. They suck. Taking your oh, calls God, right now. Horrendous. What's your favorite pickle? Call <laughs> in and ugh. Carnegie Deli has good pickles. My wife goes to Costco now. So I open the refrigerator. There's a jar of fucking pickles the size of what they would serve in a prison to take them. It's Why don't you big. put that in a bit? No, and then what? get in a time machine and do <laughs> <Yeah>. it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, 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 you just spoiled your closer. <laughs> hey, tell the MC, what are you done? When I screwed the pickle Wait. thing, just get ready to come back up. <laughs> Shut up, <laughs> stupid. First of all, uh, you could go after me, but going after me on stage is just, you're just no, hurting yourself. No, I never yourself. do. You're hurting yourself. They never do. Sure, I'm hurting myself because I'm bumping into all those empty chairs on the way. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. No, Rich is fucking great what? on stage. His, de his delivery is completely different than it is here on the show, by the way, too. You have a very relaxed <laughs> delivery on stage. It's fucking great. And Thank you're... You. And you're uh, it's not just because you're known for being brutal to the crowd. You can fucking rip apart the crowd. But your fucking st just your act is very, very funny. Thank you. I've, Thank I've you. seen Rich uh, quite a few times, and he's fucking great, man. Thank you. I'll never goof on your fucking uh, act. But here's the thing. I'm, you. I'm very relaxed in here now. You're shaking. Sure you are. You're on uh, medication. You're shaking you're into the mic. I'm on medication. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, a a Rich, sprinkle Xanax on your fucking oatmeal. Yeah. <laughs> and you also said you're numb to the whole Boston Marathon bar. No, I'm thing. not numb to that. I'm numb to just so much tragedy in this fucking world. Aren't we getting desensitized? That, like, something like this. I, not you, to that. Uh, in, in, years ago, something like this and the way they're presenting it now and everything would have been literally shocking. They call it shocking. They say, oh, yeah. this is a shocking yeah. terrorist event. But in reality, and it's a sad state of affairs here, we're not shocked. Mm. We're not shocked. We look at it. We've seen so much shit on the Internet and on the news that we don't look at it and, and put our hands over our mouths and go, oh, my God. It's just, oh, that happened. This is the world we live in. They, that they, happened. They, all the newsmen were talking about how uh, they were so sh – what they were shocked about up there in Boston was people were going about their lives and jogging and walking their yeah, dogs yeah. and playing with their kids. They were amazed. They couldn't believe that was going on. Yeah. I don't know. It's just we're we're really getting desensitized to uh, tragedy. Mm. Uh, like I'll, to maybe. After Connecticut, I mean that. Brought, on Mike, please. That brought to yours. On Mike. That brought to yours. <laughs> That's the new you know. He ignores the microphone. <laughs> so far, he's done everything he's yeah. done at during every other the appearance. Audience ignores what's going into it. <laughs> uh, oh, you heard me when I said I want coffee. Oh, oh. fuck the rule. Yeah, but like you read stuff on the internet, and then you go, "Is this really? Can this really happen?" Like a uh, 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 fifteen-year-old rape, rape victim in yeah. some horrible Middle Eastern country, who's the victim, gets a hundred lashes. Yeah, yeah. You know, and you sit there going, "Who? Who thinks like you know? What kind of insane fucking laws?" Where'd that happen? Uh, in, it's like in, they in did fucking that in Montana. Okay. I don't fucking in, in one of those Arab countries. She was. They raped. do blame the rape victim over there. And we're so. friends with all these dog shit yeah, countries. Yeah, Ugh. Mm. yeah the no. second you start bitching about you know human rights violations and stuff, just stop and look at what uh, look at what pals we have around the globe. Saudi Arabia, really? Fucking, they're they're horrid. China, horrid to their people. But you know, we do business with them. Man. Man. So, Rich, who do you think did this up there in Boston? Uh, I, who knows? You okay. know, everybody, and this is the truth. And, Let's and, go and around the room. I'm wrong, but people want it to be terrorism. Because they don't, just like. It is just, terrorism. Just, well, I mean, they want it to be. Like, international you know, terrorism? International. Just like when the, uh, the happened up in Connecticut, the school. Yeah. All the stuff online about the theories that it was. Uh, you know, bullshit, a hoax, or not a, you know, like, what do you, what's the word? You know, uh, huh? I, 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 uh, I, I, a cover up. I, I, or, you know, know, you know conspiracy. Going conspiracy. Conspiracy you going with? Okay. okay. When they said that about, uh, in Connecticut, people really wanted to believe it was. No. Because, yeah, no, they did. A didn't. small percentage no, of people. Because then Everyone else 20... is smart enough to understand mm. how, what no, really listen, is going on. You wanted to believe it was a conspiracy because then you're thinking, well, all these kids didn't die. So in you oh, know what I mean? Jesus. Holy fuck! What, what are you would talking be a hell, about? That would be a hell of a conspiracy. Of course, everyone. Who, who thought no. it was that? Everyone knew they were dead. Everyone knew no, they were dead. Did you read all that conspiracy yeah, bullshit? Yeah, there's like a, a, a small percent of one percent 
of people that buy into that. that, is that they don't no, care, they don't care about those kids. Uh, they, they are conspiracy theorists for different reasons, not because they care about the listen, kids being alive. I'm not saying I, I, I thought it was. I'm saying you want it to be because then you think maybe. But we all know it wasn't even close yeah. to being true. Did you read? Did you look at that stuff that was online? Yeah. How they were oh, my God. You're going to love our next guest. Alex Jones will be on our show in five minutes. Oh, Rich, yeah. Enjoy. Alex Jones. Uh, what are you talking about? You goes, really th- no, believed half that shit? No, I don't believe conspiracies. it. I say you want to believe it. We are had you an insu- idiot. I'm not saying I be- believe had, it. You can't believe that stuff. We, <laughs> yeah, we had a well. Oh, I should shut up. We had an inside track, uh, and trust me, it was real. We heard details that uh, the the fucking. They I don't think anybody on. anybody thinks it uh, didn't right. happen. So I never heard that. Um, <clears throat> no. Uh, uh, oh, not that. <laughs> uh, so who do you think did it? I I, I think it's a local guy. Yeah, I think it's it's. I think it's a local kind of... guy. That's uh, I don't know why yet, obviously, but it has to be a local guy. You can find a crowd anywhere in America. Someone's some disgruntled. Some, some kind so of. So is a local guy disgruntled saying, "Oh, here we go, big. Uh, it's marathon day. This is perfect for me." No, it's one of these. Because they would have found a crowd a long time ago in a in a in a fucking mall or, or some kind of fucking street festival anywhere. Somebody raised the point though. Maybe I mean it could have been because of Patriots Day, but somebody raised the point that it was a uh, could have been a New York City marathon intended. I saw that, but I but because they canceled the marathon, they said fuck it, let's go to that one. Yeah, it's obviously look. It's I think it's a lone. Do you think it's a local guy? Two, Do you or, think? I don't know if they're Arabic or not, or Middle Eastern or not. I mean, I mean local to the Boston area. If it's an Arab, it's not an Arab that came over and was sent with Saudi money and stuff. It's some guy that thinks he's gonna, you know. Hey, look at me. I'm of Arab descent, and I'm going to uh, do this. I, I don't. That maybe, and even that wouldn't be international. I think it's probably a, a domestic yeah, uh, so. incident. I, I, it's it's probably yeah. It's somebody disgruntled with the government. Yeah, on tax, you know? on tax day. Yeah, Ford, yeah, but tax day fell on you know marathon day, so it's not easy just to say tax day. Well, doesn't it? Uh, hmm. Well, if it was a protest about taxes or a hatred of ta- a hatred of the government, April fifteenth, and, yeah. yeah. and then it all just lines up, right? Yeah, and it just happens to work yeah. out well. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you could have said, "Hey, well, here's the question: April 15th, let's is the Boston Marathon on Tax Day every year? I don't think so, because it's a, it's always on a Monday, so it, so the day changes yeah. year, year to year. Yeah, yeah, it changes. But uh, you know, obviously, you know that in advance. If you go, yeah, we want to protest taxes. What can we do? Well, let's yeah. bomb something on the fifteenth. Holy oh, fuck! What's going Boston on the fifteenth? Right. Oh, the Boston Marathon. Gotcha. You know, you got a, a Fair pretty enough. good advance knowledge of that. Yeah, I think uh, it's going to be, lean towards one of the. Yeah, I, I, I think it probably will be an anti-government person in one way or another. Somebody who doesn't like um, what's going on. Well, well, uh Mickey or Mikey looks uh, Mickey Mickey probably Joe. In Philly you're going to be in Philly this weekend Rich Voss yes at Helium Helium uh, Comedy Club Wednesday through Saturday very oh, good shit. this guy wants to explain what you were trying to say a moment ago <laughs> go ahead sir All right, let me let me try to sort through uh Mod- I Mod- speak Mod- douche <laughs> 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 yeah right have some fucking banana oh shit <laughs> all right so the reality that one guy was so fucked up in the head that he went and wiped out a whole school full of little kids is awful. And we would rather believe that it's the government conspiracy or some, you know, group of guys in black trench coats in the, you know, the room planning it is more palatable. And we want to believe that rather than the actual truth that society is fucked beyond belief. That's, well, that's a good oh, one. We'd rather believe that the government is capable of doing horrific things like that. No, no, and I'd be able to sleep at it night. It makes you feel more in control. When you think it's a planned and carefully thought yeah. out thing, the yeah. randomness of one guy that's with Kennedy or with anything being able to change right. things or, do, or it makes it so unpredictable and scary, makes you feel helpless. That's why conspiracy theorists, it's, it's part of knowing the government Let me explain does things like that doesn't make you feel helpless. No, I not as pretty- much so because you still have control on the, you, you're, you still have faith in the power of the government. Uh, Let me explain to you this uh, moron that's trying to explain to me. If you read moron, these... Moron, uh, he, he's explaining it pretty no, well he, he said, no, but that's, he's getting it wrong. Right. If you read these conspiracy theories, they were saying none of it happened. <laughs> it was all actors <laughs> and, and the mm, time. Actors. They were right, saying, yes. childish idiots. They that's say crazy. All, yeah, and yeah, when did like you... Hold on, Rich. One of the 9-11 what? plays Thank landed you. When, when, when did you Cleveland? stop believing it, though? I never, believed, I never believed. I never believed it. It's horseshit. Why do you believe that stuff? What, all the parents uh, are yeah, just right. great actors and actresses? Yeah, how do you listen, fucking buy this? Listen to me. I didn't believe it. I said you want to believe it, it uh, because I don't it know. makes I think you. Part feel... of you are thinking, all right, yeah. that's possible. No, listen, 
Buck. No, what? Are you talking the same thing that nobody wants to believe that the Holocaust happened, that they want to think it's all fake and the moon landing? Oh, and it didn't, right. it, well, it didn't right. happen. I, I know relatives that were there. It was, it was, uh, uh, there were more resorts than you think. Yeah, but it's the same oh. people who want to believe that bullshit oh. because it's, they don't want to accept reality, right? I'm a Jew. I, I, obviously, it happened. It wasn't. It's it's the, problem the, wasn't the, problem. the problem wasn't that you're a Jew. Yeah, that <laughs> the problem is he's a comedian. <laughs> no, of course, not yes. why Jimmy was shaking his head in disgust. Oh, no. Yes, but there's no people that deny the Holocaust don't have these big theories and they don't put the you know these these scenarios together. They just say it didn't happen. It's bullshit. Okay, but after after uh, what happened in Connecticut, you go online uh, and they had these. I mean, they do great work at piecing all this bullshit together. Well, you could okay. take it after the fact and make whatever kind yes. of story you want out You're of it. You're not yeah. willing to admit that you, a part of you, believed that did. some of this oh, shit is oh, possible. No, no. Jimmy, you don't, he's you, changing his tune. No, yeah. I'm not. You don't get it. I never believed it. You want to like, believe oh, it. You're like, oh, they're pretty good at putting the pieces together. You want to believe it so, you don't, so you're going, this mm. didn't happen. Right. Mm. Do you understand? You want to believe it was a fucking the play problem. or a movie set. What conspiracy and, mm -hmm. guys do, the, you know, the news always gets things wrong when an event first happens. And the conspiracy guys take all the info because they think uh, everything the news <laughs> says and shows you is real. And then they go with that shit. Like, look at with the Boston Marathon bombing. They said there were four bombs. Now, yep. officially, there is absolutely only two. But the conspiracy theory the guys are already going to run with the uh, that there were four bonds, but they're hiding the other two from yeah. us for whatever reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's just the news not doing their job. That's right. Did you ever see some of those videos after? See? We made them. See? No, I'm just saying, did you see them? What videos? After Bonnie, what? I, know, just, I, I, after I don't know what? the title. After mm -hmm. Sandy Hook? After Sandy Hook. Just call it after Sandy Hook. After Sandy Hook. Which no, videos? Uh, what, what? I don't know these conspiracy. Like, we were, Bonnie and I watched one of them. And like I said, you you can't like you can't cover up something. You can't be that good. So what was what was the push? Was it the gun know. in the trunk? Mm -hmm. That one. Dad, uh, uh, <laughs> what? Uh, kids, uh, families meeting with Obama with different. I don't remember because it happened gun, so long. The, yeah. Wait, with different what? It. They just look at it. No, you brought it to our show. Yeah, what so do what do you, you know about it? Tell it's, us. I don't remember. I'm not, I'm I don't saying, have time to go look at this. <laughs> what do you mean I don't have time? What you say about one sunset? It's all fake shit. It's it's fake. No, I know it's fake. What are you talking about? The 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 parents and the families meeting with Obama. There What's was the one point part there? of that. that but what? It looked like the uh, the picture was uh, altered, and oh. I don't remember. I don't remember. All I know is you sat there, you watch it, and go. It would be great if this didn't happen. You know, there, there, as, a, as, as a person and a parent, one, here's going. one prime example from Connecticut that that uh, these conspiracy assholes were were running with. They had a helicopter view of the uh, cops taking a weapon out of the trunk of the asshole's car. Uh, the reports were that he went in and used uh, an AR-15 assault rifle in the school, and then they said, "Well, here they are taking it out of the trunk." Obviously, he didn't use. Uh, the assault rifle. They didn't look into the fact that the model shotgun that he used or didn't use and left in the trunk wasn't your normal standard granddad's shotgun. It looked exactly like a, a larger version of an AR-15. It had a removable magazine for shotgun shells. It had all the uh, plastic uh, rails and, and whatnot. So people, instead of saying, wow, that's a shotgun that looks like an AR-15, when, oh, how did the AR-15 yeah. get inside if it was in the trunk? When, meanwhile, what it's dummies. there's completely logical and reasonable explanation that that was the shotgun. Well, they uh, but they never they, they never want to They, they never deal with logic. They stink. No. Because with the, let's just no. go with the one at hand here, the Boston Marathon bombing, the Saudi guy. Yeah. Watch the conspiracy people are going to run with that. Oh, really? He was cleared. The yeah. government actually took him away to live somewhere else. Because and his family he wasn't... dealt with George Bush. Right. He wasn't <laughs> supposed to be caught, and they caught him. So obviously now the government says, you know, he has nothing to do with this. And they've already uh, relocated him somewhere yeah. else. And, yeah. you know. Yeah. It, it's all. But, but you don't uh, think you don't think. 
Right, the, well, see, there, I think the government. The general, I think the, the government does, does shit. Okay. 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 But okay. to the to the level of like uh, the Sandy Hook incident and or this uh, Boston Marathon bombing, no, I don't think so. There's a Do clip. It, of I, conspiracy. I, no, I don't think the you know the government the the whole 9/11 thing was a conspiracy. No. There's a conspiracy clip online that shows uh, from the marathon. It has some guy standing. And uh, there's he's by the crowd right after the blast, and you see this uh, human tissue, some type of meaty-looking, bloody thing, next to him to his right, and then as he moves to his right uh, and crosses in front of it, the second he crosses, it's gone, and there's like some piece of metal there. I don't know what that means, what it's supposed to mean, what the fuck. Are oh, they the, going with that already? The, the, yeah, maybe that it's. I don't. I don't even know what they're going Could with. Could I see the and video? It, but they're saying that it like <laughs> the blood disappeared. It, I, I I saw someone tweeting about the, that the, this morning. The piece of like the blood or the, human, or the guts or the whatever. Yeah, some kind of a goopy piece. So of So they're something. already starting to take right. little, little things yeah. and going with that it. That some video is altered look, and, and I things like. I just hate them. Both sides are already trying to uh, political pol make this political. Like you know the, the right, the right, right. You know they're ridiculous. The right is going that Obama that said. Oh, sorry. Okay, that, yeah, let's let's take a look at this. So what is uh, the title right, of this turn, video? Turn it up. And, I um, can't see it, Sam. Let's see what this is. Make it bigger. The hell? Big. Okay. Uh, this is... Okay. The video I have up on my MSM line, we need to give up our freedoms. Yeah. Yes. Oh, God. We'll All right, can we pause? Because this is going to take a while, and we got Alex Jones on the line. Oh, okay. Alex. Alex Jones. Thank you for your service. <laughs> <laughs> he loves that. What's up, Alex? Nothing. I was on Coast to Coast AM. I've had like three hours sleep. The alarm went off. Yeah. Right, we, we always get the sl we always get the sleepy version of you. <laughs> you always get the that's a good dingy one though. Have there you been uh, Have you been uh, trying to catch some Z's in your uh, in your war room over there? I've seen your videos. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. I, I look, listen. Where every movie and every TV show, along with the real government training manual, says the libertarian gun owners are imminently about to do IEDs, and they are going to attack you, and we're going to have to wage war. The enemy is not al-Qaeda anymore. It is the American people. Uh -huh. Now, you wait. They're going to bomb any minute, any minute, any minute. Get ready. What do you do when they attack boys and girls? We give our rights up. That's right. And then, and then it happens, and it's perfectly photo finished. Ninety percent is completely staged. Ten percent chance that it could be some lone person, but it'll probably be provocateur. And the media was like, "Oh my God, how dare Alex Jones come out and say that this could be staged? He's so crazy." Look, he says in his tweet that most of it's FBI provocateur. That's the New York Times. Yeah. They go find mentally ill people, and they sit there. I mean, in, in 1993, the New York Times yeah. had a report, report that the first World Trade Center bombing, they found two literally mentally retarded people. You know, who are like and they gave them a show, and when they went to Boston. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. Exactly what happened, Alex. Yeah, I, like, I, I just I gotta <laughs> ask you. I gotta ask you something though. Here, I want. I want. I got some questions for you. Uh, what do you think this is, if it isn't indeed just a random uh, uh, bombing of the parade? What What is your idea of what this is? Spell it out for us. It is a false flag, self-inflicted wound for the giant, grandstanding, huge police state. I mean, if you think the military-industrial complex is, has, like, eaten America, you know, like somebody eating a hot dog at a, at a Yankees game... Get ready, because they're really going to gobble our ass up now. And, and, and even if it is real, even if this is that, you know, rare, real event, because those do happen, this is grandstanding big time. And even if you believe in the war on terror, they, mm -hmm. Obama, all week long, since they're signing death orders, where sometimes they've killed 200-plus people at a right. wedding, where there's one bad guy they think they're getting, and they'll drop a 1,000-pound bomb. Right in the middle of the wedding, and I mean, I've seen the foreign photos and videos, it's never on our news. Uh -huh. It looks like a soup of sloppy joes, and you're not going to hear little, 
little, little such and such. She was three years old. Her whole future till she was blown in half by shrapnel. You know, Obama's like, I agree with that. There's bombs yeah. and innocents being targeted. I gotta and agree. Terrorism. I, I gotta, right. I gotta agree with you on that one. Mm. I'm also gonna agree with you on the fact that um, I'm not sure, uh, uh, and and I doubt the fact that the government is so involved in uh, random bombings around this country. Uh, but I will admit to the uh, believing that that I think they use anything that happens to gain more power for themselves and to, to take uh, liberties away from the American people. That I absolutely do agree with. So that's all I'm saying. And, and there's this incredible spin machine you know, going on immediately going, you don't care about the three people that died and the thousand unless you completely bend over <laughs> and ask Homeland Security to drive a bus up your ass. <laughs> I, I mean, this is what's going on, and I personally... You can just see it coming from a mile away. But listen, I turn on any show, Hawaii Five O. Uh, you know the new generation of of, of of minions or whatever it's called, and, and you turn it on, and it's like this this episode, this gruntled veteran shooting cops. Can McGarrett stop him? I turn to the next show. Oh, this is the following top psychopaths. Who do they love hiring? Who are the worst people of this class of killers? Yeah. We're not just psychopathic killers. We're constitutionalist extremists and all the psychos. Oh, my God. Well, that is true. I think the mainstream media, TV shows, news are painting um, patriots and, and people that want uh, the Constitution adhered to as some type of uh, crazy, rebellious murderers. But, you know, you, exactly. you, Alex, you, you talk a lot about uh, the, the civil liberties being taken away. And in some cases, I, I, I'm right. You're, I mean, you're right. And. But like with the TSA, I understand they can be irritating, but I find this hatred of the TSA almost irrational because I deal with them a lot because I travel so frequently and they're annoying. But I, it, I do you really do you not want anybody frisked when they go on a plane? Like what? What is the alternative? They're doing a job. I think they should all drag our children off into a private room. No, I'm not I saying that there's not. I, I, I agree. Guys, I think pot belly guys, little tiny, creepy mustaches with twinkly eyes. Uh, I mean, I, I think they. I think my wife is there for them too. Well, you know, this is what they. No, 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 no. no listen, I, I, I've had so many TSA people go, "Hey, can I have an autograph?" <laughs> and bash the hell out of them. Sure. Or, "Hey, man, hey, man, we're not all bad." And, and then, like, oh, uh, I mean, I mean, I've actually seen things at the airport where they're like, "Hey, go ahead and go on through." Uh, you know, just all sorts of stories like that. So, so I'm aware of things. I mean, I had Shooter Jennings, you know, Waylon Jennings, uh, shut in studio like a week ago. And off air, he talked about it. Plus, we taped something we're going to air uh, next week. And, and he talked about how he'd been out on a cruise ship. Somebody gave him a joint. He didn't even think about it. And then he was, he came through customs, was flying back home, and he pulls out stuff out of his pocket. And, and, and there's a joint, and he drops it on the ground. You know, like thinking, oh my God! And the TSA guy goes, uh, "You can go on through now," and like picks up the joint, and basically hands it back to him. So, so, so I get that some of them aren't bad, but I'll bet there were like nice guards, like some guards that were like at Dachau and Auschwitz. <laughs> no, no, but like, I, listen, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to shoot you in the head to mess with you. That's my job. Uh, no, Alex, what I'm asking you, I understand that, and I, and I know that there's pricks who work for the TSA. <laughs> there's like the, some of them like mall security cops. They go way too far in their array. I understand that, but I'm talking about the general attitude where people are like the fucking TSA. They're taking our rights. They're you taking would, our... you. You would like a transvestite to do your transsexual. Oh, transvestite's yeah. a guy in a dress. I don't go for that. A transsexual is a much better <laughs> egg. Okay, but, okay. You, but I'm saying, how does that? Like a, remove our civil liberties. You know what? I don't know why they're saying right-wingers probably did this. I mean, why aren't they saying, hey, it could be the government or elements they stand to gain or defense contractors that want to sell $15 million of robots to every city, which is now happening, uh, or, 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 you know, some foreign corporation that was, like, doing something. I mean, it could be a lone mental patient, but you know. I'm, listen, here's an example. Hmm. Take... Thank you for your service. I can't see. I actually can't do the voice right now because I'm so so tired. It still sounds like I'm. I still, I still want to know how the TSA rides up our civil liberties. Oh, fighter! <laughs> I'm just curious. Here, here, do it for me. I love Jeff. He's such a good guy. Hold uh, on. Can you do it? What? A fighter. There you go. A governor. 
I've anyway. seen things that'll blow your mind. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Listen, all, all, all I can say is, if you think you've had your freedom of gang rape so far, get ready. But take take the uh, Holmes guy from the Aurora attack, uh -huh. who was getting like $30,000 a year in a DARPA program. By the way, the Theodore Kaczynski, the Unabomber, look it up. He was in MK Ultra. That got declassified. But it's like, never mind that the Unabomber was in an admitted CIA mind control program from the 1960s. Just forget that. It's not even a part of it. James Holmes was not a Navy SEAL, was not a fighter. But what he was was somebody in the DARPA program mm. with a Air Force top psychiatrist over him. Everybody knew what he was planning. And they've now ignored all that. And now they're saying, oh, we're drugging him for the trial to make him tell the truth. Listen, my dad's a dentist. I can come to your house and give you a halcyon, oh. the right milligram strength. And I can Let's make a time. And, and, and pull your teeth out with, with pliers, buddy. Oh. And, you, and you wouldn't even remember any of it. And if I told you... You know, if I strangled a kid and then, and, and then you know, awoke, uh, you know, uh, any of you guys up and said, you did it, you would go on the stand and believe you did it, okay? So so they're now putting <laughs> on truth serum. It's, it's not really truth serum. It makes you say whatever the hell they Alex, want. now you're talking mind control. <laughs> <laughs> hold on. So, so hold on. So, Alex, you think <laughs> the James Holmes, what was the last, let me ask you honestly, what's the last event that happened? Because you think, like, you believe in a conspiracy for 9-11, and what's the last event that happened that you just take at face value and think did just happen as, as the act of a random nut or whatever? Like, without any government nonsense or, or direct, yeah. what's the last one you I think was event, happened? I, I know an event that, that, that had all the evidence of being random. And all the evidence of a motive, and it was Joe Stack who flew his plane into the IRS building here in Austin, Texas. Hmm. Right. I remember that one. And they took his house, and, they were, and he didn't really owe the money. They were harassing him, and they burned his house down and flew his private plane. He said, "Here, you want all my possessions? So take it with interest." Uh, so, so that was a real event. But listen, all I'm saying is, everyone has to get ready. Because they're they're planning to implode the economy. They're already taking people's bank accounts in Europe, and I mean, my God, the the training manuals that are coming out are like veterans will attack your police station. Everyone will be hit by IEDs. Every city needs you know these five million dollar a piece robots. You will be attacked for something that you know is like so rare. Yeah. It's incredible. I mean, I mean, people die by the thousands every year from falling in bathtubs, and now it's like they're going to take each child or each person that was killed and build. And again, I feel sorry for them, but it's like they're going to build statues and they're going to like dangle them in front of me. And then, I, and I knew the minute it happened, and it's now all over the news. They're like Al Qaeda, right wing. Al yeah, Qaeda, yeah. Libertarian. What's Al what's but but right Alex. Now. Alex, what's the what's the end game though? What's the end game here? What what are they? What's the goal of this? Uh, this uh, government entity. Well, I mean, the United States is the world empire. The United States has all the money, still has all the power, has a lot of the ideas. We're a great country. And mm. and these corporate interests that aren't free market, they already conquered the world using our muscle, or most of it. Yeah. Uh, and the goal is the, the establishment wants all, us all living under a 1021 on record is totally poor and bankrupt, while you know, they are Kim Jong-un up in the seven-story pleasure palace. Uh, with all the transsexuals. So so the plan is they're off, you know, doing all their weird decadent crap, ruling over us, and we can't go in, in a McDonald's without a proctology exam, uh, you know, with this giant government make-work project. I mean, FDR built dams. Our government's going to tear dams down, turn off power plants, and the make-work is going to be training you to line up and get on the cattle cars. This is all... Slave training. All right, but going on. I have, I have a question. I honestly want to know. And I mean, I mean, it's a simple question, but it's, it's been a very <laughs> big point for guys who guys were very anti-government. And, and I again, I'll say it again. I know the TSA is unpleasant at times, but how? <laughs> I know, but I really mean this. How have they taken our civil liberties in that situation? Thank you for your service. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, no. No, but I'm, I'm honestly curious because people hate people really hate them, and in some no, no, ways no, no, I get you're it. Right, you're right. You're right. It, it, listen, it's good that the borders are basically wide open, and every time. No, no. Schumer, absolutely, you're right. The borders should be every closed. Every time the senators go down there and go, look, we've secured the border. There's like illegals just pouring over it, and, and, and my whole issue is great point. It'd be great, it'd be great to have the illegal aliens here. If they weren't given welfare and all this other crap, and a lot of them are really hard working, great right. people, by the way. I think you but answered it perfectly is, for you, Jimmy. Hey, you, uh, you, by the way, you are right. I agree. The borders should be closed. Yeah. And I and I think it's. I'm only curious because the borders are open. Does not mean that the TSA has violated our civil liberties. I'm only curious as to how the TSA is a violation of our civil liberties or what they're doing. I don't think there's any way oh. to have our civil liberties. But, uh, 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 Violated. I think they should all drop us in the boiling vats of peanut oil at the uh, airport. Uh, so, you know, just to make sure there's not like. Ex well, let me tell you what. It's going to make sense to make sure there's not explosives in our testicles. All right, listen. And, 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 and then the okay. boiling peanut oil wow. will neutralize the explosives. Okay. All right, listen. Uh, listen. Someone in uh, Boston wants in badly. Uh, it's Lindsay. You're on with Alex Jones. Lindsay. Hey, how are you? Good. I just want to tell you that this whole thing is fucking bullshit. My friend Jeff Bowman is lying in the hospital with his legs missing, and all you conspiracy theorist douchebags are going around trying to say that he's he's a wounded soldier that lost his legs in Afghanistan. It's fucking bullshit in your opinion. Uh, let me, let me stop shit. you, ma'am. Ma'am, ma'am, you, you, this stuff is not all just black and white. So, so, so did you ever think that, that the, the White House regulations are Cat Sunstein? wrote not one but two papers at Harvard and Chicago Business the year before he was made. I don't give a shit what you happened. Don't, you don't, you don't <laughs> give a Listen, shit about that. Yeah, because you want to know why? Because I know because that... Because you're the into the emotion of it right now. Ma'am, I'm telling you, blood-drinking Easter Bunny, they're coming for you. Okay, no, no. 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 Seriously, ma'am. I understand this about feeling good and feeling bad and validated. You're saying. I know, you're I, you're I, I know I'm, well bad. I'm, I'm, I'm bad. I'm bad. You're right. Yeah, you're you right. Are. You are. Yeah, you're right. You are. There's people suffering and You're good, though. You're good, though. Hey, ma'am, do you think I am. I'm a human being, and I have compassion for people. Take all your vaccines. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, hey uh, 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 yeah. can I just say something to her, please? Yes, yes. Okay, good. Thank you. Listen, the, they're going to have schizophrenics, and I get this. You know, the, the real question is, what's conspiracy, what isn't, what has red flags, what doesn't? There are crazy people that think I'm, I am Bill Hicks, okay? I mean, I mean listen to something straight. He's a very funny guy, a great guy, anti-gun. I'm not Bill Hicks, Okay. <laughs> There are people that think everything is actors and everything is fake. I think Sandy Hook happened. I think Aurora happened. There were some people on the news that acted very coached. So but why don't you comment on the people that are saying that my friend Jeff Bowman, who's lying in the hospital with his legs I know you're very missing, excited. It's your friend. Is Nick is an injured Afghanistan vet. Why don't you let? Why don't you comment on that? Why don't you put that? Well, ma'am, number one, one, number one, one number one. Why don't you, you put it to rest? Ma'am, your lordship, yeah. have you been what? to InfoWars.com? No, I don't need to go to InfoWars.com. I know the person personally. Why don't you comment on what I'm talking about? Yeah, Maybe I'll think you're a good human being if you have a shred of decency to dispel the rumor. Ma'am, 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 ma'am. What I'm telling you is I'm saying the New York Times reported that the FBI has a history of finding mentally ill and unstable people, whether they be left-wing, right-wing, or Muslim, or whatever the case is, and they call it winding them up, giving them everything, being their commander, giving them money, uh, saying the getaway car will be waiting for you and we'll fly you out, you know, to the, to the uh, you know, virgins uh, with mustaches or whatever. So, so what I'm saying is they have a motive to get power and control out of it. So I'm saying we should give up our liberties, and we should look at all groups doing it, but also criminal elements in government or foreign corporations because they have a history of doing this sometimes. But she's asking you to address one subject, Al. She's asking you to address one question, though. That's all. She's asking you to address just that particular uh, part. Appara apparently, if I, if I could get here, this, this girl has a friend that was injured uh, and lost uh, legs in, 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 in the bombing. And I it's guess the picture some, we've all seen in the wheelchair. some conspiracy theorists are saying that that was a a vet that lost his legs in combat and is being used yes. as a, a a prop? Is that what's going no, on? Miss, you mean that famous picture of the guy with the wheelchair, right, missing both legs in the wheelchair? 
Exactly. That, that's your friend? That's, yeah. That's oh, yeah. All right. I'm sorry. I yeah. went to Chumsford High School with that person. His name is Jeff Bowman. Yeah. Both my sister and I attended high school with him. We know him. And he's lying in a hospital bed, and all these people are reposting that picture, right. saying what a piece of shit he is and this and that, and wow. saying that he's a wounded veteran, and he's not. Yeah. And just let me preface this. My ex-husband is a, is a veteran, so I don't. I have much respect for veterans, and I have a lot of respect for the people that have either lost their lives in service and also have been victims of terroristic activities. And it really makes me mad and upset, especially having this hit so close to home, that people are using my friend as a fucking prop. Mm, and they are. I've seen the picture. Please, for God's sake. Alex, come in. What I'm trying to get at, ma'am, is this is the Internet. There are 7.5 billion people. Three or four billion of them are online. People are going to say that the photo of your friend it's and real. lots of them follow you, and all you have to do is say that it's not true. Oh, That's well, all you have to do. You have plenty of me, information. No, you don't need to oh, stop yeah. me because you're wrong. Oh, uh, well, you're, you're not listening. Say that you're wrong. Listen. I understand. I understand. Listen, I, uh, I I have a tendency when a woman's kind of whining at me and not listening to kind of leave the room. Look, man, just let me let me just calmly tell you something. The Internet is billions of people. I cannot keep track of every cockamamie conspiracy theory going on on the internet and sit there and debunk them i just told you all right alex alex but but do you believe what she's saying to be the truth she sounds like she's being very yeah. truthful do, do no, you no, believe no, no, what listen. she's saying to be the truth that absolutely. that's her friend and she absolutely. she knows it absolutely i'm not okay. aware of what she's talking about but i'm sure it's true because they lied to us about wmds but you should they lied they lied to us about so many other things that <laughs> now a large portion of people don't believe anything is real. Okay. You know, if oh. they take a crap in the toilet, they look in there and think it's a space alien. Right. I get that, and I'm sorry, and I'm sure your friend did get his uh, legs blown off. And, and, and I personally am sick of people attributing to me all of the wild conspiracy theories that are out there. So, yes, ma'am. Well, I you can you. go on Instagram and look up the hashtag Alex Jones for President. I don't have a damn should, Instagram. Well, then lady. you know what? You should make you should figure it out because there's a lot of people that are voting you it's for my President. It's my fault. It's my no. fault because I have government no. documents. No, but you have a personal paradise. responsibility as a oh. public figure that has well. lots of followers. No, I, 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 disagree. I disagree, sweetheart. I don't agree with that. I mean, uh, he addressed uh, it. Alex addressed it. I and mean, he, said he, that he can't be held responsible for every lunatic that's online post. Posting things that aren't true to it's not his job to to you know police the internet for lunatics i mean obviously uh i i believe you a hundred percent that yes. your friend lost his legs in a bombing in front of the uh, uh the, the marathon. marathon but but uh i mean look alex jones sounds a little kooky but i'm not going to make him the police for all lunatics on uh yeah. on I, online and you get you asked him to address it can't that i'm sorry i do i do agree with that you're right he can't be responsible well, for everything but it is it is really heartbreaking and it's really upsetting well, well yeah well more importantly Lindsay, important. Lindsay. more importantly how how is your friend doing is it right. life-threatening is he going to be all right what's going on he's he is going to be okay he's expected to recover um there's a lot of there's going to be a candlelight vigil in chumford tonight to commemorate um you know all of the victims that were injured um you well, know i do have a other friends. let me bring this up ma'am uh -huh. i'm sorry for your friend and, and i want stuff like this to stop but you know when the gardasil test were going on in 90 uh, two, in 2006 a bunch of people died at the trials and i had medical doctors on and tried to warn people and i had the mothers on whose daughters took the shot and died Huh. And then they went ahead and approved it, and now they're having to do settlements and making it killed a bunch of people. But, but but no one wants to have vigils. No one cares. No one cares about the U.N. polio program vaccine that just paralyzed 67,000 kids. No one wants to have a vigil when a 1,000-pound when a bomb kills 200 innocent people, and they call it collateral damage. Do you get that hmm. people only get emotional when the mainstream media says, now it's time to get well, I, I you're, you're not wrong that's about that. I, that's I, I do agree point. with yes. that point. Yeah, Alex. fair enough. That's a, that's a good terrible. point. You're absolutely right. But you still uh, but the, this horrific here shit going on every day. Is I would love to know in what way, shape, or form the annoying yes, <laughs> no, no. But, but how have the TSA 
dis- it, how is that a, an infringement upon our civil <laughs> liberties? Which has, and I'm not saying you personally, Alex. No, I think you enjoy it. No, but I'm asking for real because the problem I have with conspiracy guys is a lot of you guys are really smart, and you raise some great points and some great arguments, and I'm agreeing with some of what you're saying right now. But there are certain very basic, simple questions that instead of just saying, like, yeah, the TSA has become the popular hate rally point, but they really aren't that. uh, They're annoying as individuals, but as an organization, it's not this big civil liberties violation. And I would like to know if you think they are how they are. All right, well, here's an example. I was flying a few months ago, and my buddy was talking to me because they were doing a little, you know, make me wait before they came over to make sure Bin Laden wasn't in my underwear. Okay. And I had my boot like maybe an inch over the line because i've been sitting there about three minutes waiting i was like oh yeah okay i'll see you over there okay get coffee all right get over the line hey i'm like hey buddy how about you say please i didn't sign up uh you know for drill sergeant in the marine corps and again where i live in austin texas they now have tsa on the freaking highways just type tsa in downtown austin they now have i went to the kite festival with my kids that's really racist and, 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 uh, <laughs> exactly. And, 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 and I went out there, and they had National Guard searching people. But, but again, real bombers are going to bomb you. They had 400 National Guard, thousands of police, sure. checkpoints everywhere, and this happened. Here's the news flash. But the TSA Everybody at the airports, I mean. It, get emotional. Get into, oh, my God, we got hit. Oh, my God, three people are dead. Oh, my right. God. Meanwhile, the Empire, you know, is killing millions of everywhere. What do you mean, oh, my God? What do you mean, oh, my God, three people listen, are dead? That's three I'm not, people. Man, I'm not even talking that? about you. Listen. You just, okay. Listen, honey, I work all day hard, and then I come home to this crap. <laughs> Why don't you get in the kitchen and make me a damn steak? <laughs> Holy anyway, shit. Back to what I was, shut up. Don't take your bros you shut up. You're a fucking piece of shit. Listen, you You're a shut up, you piece of shit. Head, you I have head. more fucking shut authority up, in my head. finger than you have in your entire fucking head. body. <laughs> you call head. into this show to emotionally offload on me and blame me for what I'm retards are doing on, anybody. on I think Instagram. You're a piece of shit. Listen, woman. <laughs> listen. <laughs> bullshit. I'm a when my fucking friend's in the box <laughs> Pinhead. Shut up, Pinhead. Pinhead. You can't you deny he's not entertaining. I have had enough of you offloading your crap on me, woman. <laughs> really? Then take some fucking responsibility for the shit that comes out of your mouth. No. I'm not Follow going to Follow me at Real Alex like Jones. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Real We're going to take Jones. everything you got. Hey, hey, yeah, hey. Alex Jones right. for president. Hey, uh, Bieber, I think you take a lot of vaccines, uh, don't you? 9-11 uh, didn't happen. You got to answer, go roll your sleeve up, uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, go take some shots for me, baby. You know the government loves you. They're going to take real good care of you because they care about the kids. It's so obvious. They're all real sad about the kids. Hey, Even no, our own listen, government I didn't does thousands of cats, but I sure medical cats, killing foster children, like radiating little kids to death and injecting black men with syphilis and injecting little kids overseas with live polio. Oh, yeah, they, they did that. Being killed. Yes, oh, like, but our government would never do it. You say, I that's hope right, take all your shots. See, that's you where he's right. That's, that's, that's what government. confused me about Alex Jones. <laughs> they never did secret medical experiments. <laughs> Everything's fine. Give your rights up. You know it's a homegrown person. You know it's a gun owner that did it. And don't you worry. Up. Homeland Why Security will be able to them. Don't worry, you can associate your personal power with a big... Why haven't they shut you up yet? Don't worry. I'm dying to know why they haven't shut you up. Why they haven't shut you up yet. Alex, that's a fair question she asked. Alex, she asked you a fair question. You're a guy who's very, very vocal, and you, you talk about a lot of these things. And if they can orchestrate something like 9-11, or they can orchestrate any of the other things that they may or may not have, why haven't they silenced you? Well, that's the oldest question, isn't it? It's a fair it sure question, is. but it is a fair We've question. We've it in the past. It's a fair question. Yeah. Maybe still, or no. Now, listen, let's get serious about this. Uh, number one, I've grown slowly over the years, and, uh, and, and, and people can also say, oh, you know, that's bull. They try to assassinate my character. They try to assassinate my name. They try to say that I've done things that aren't true. If they physically kill me, it will highlight everything I've said. It will underscore it, put a hundred exclamation uh, points uh, behind it. They'd rather do what the White House regulations are said they would do, mm. put out fake conspiracy theories so outlandish it uh, outrages pea brains. 
Or they could just put you at the Boston Marathon and have a bomb blow up and kill you, just like they tried uh, to kill sorry, my Sorry, ma'am. Right? I, uh, I'm not really yeah, into exactly. marathons. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what I'm saying is if the government wanted you gone, you'd be gone. But they think you're so fucking crazy and such a lunatic that they don't give a shit about you. Uh, ma'am, let me tell you something. I'm going to be honest with you. When I go to a family reunion... You're not being honest this entire time. You like to dance around shit and fucking not answer questions. Ma'am, ma'am. Ma'am, I, I, I grew up in Dallas, Texas. I grew up in Dallas, Texas. Good for you. Do you want a medal? No, no. Let me tell you a story. I grew up in Dallas, Texas with the family. Let me just say something. I grew up in Dallas, Texas with my family doing things like uh, helping take in East German defectors, Okay. Whenever I go to a family reunion, half mm. the people in the room are former retired CIA. What? And do you know what they tell me? What? They tell me I'm dead on, 100% absolutely there right about what I'm covering. Retired CIA people are telling you this government conspiracy. Wow, way to get good fucking information, bro. That's cool. <laughs> No, 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 there's a lot of good people yeah. who've been in and out of the government who aren't naive. Oh, I'm sure, I'm and did sure. you know and it's all classified related to you, buddy. that the majority of drugs are brought in by the government? Did you know that walnut brain? <laughs> Majority of the drugs brought in by the government. I, 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 Alex, I got a question for you, for real. I got, I, I've got. i been looking at my Twitter a little bit, and uh, someone says you got to explain the... Um, uh, have Alex Jones explain the Family Guy conspiracy about Boston, and the guy writes it's good. Okay, I really want to do that, but I rolled out of bed. Can I... Can I... Can I... Uh, I'm going to be honest. Can I take a crap? <laughs> there you go. Sure. And I also want to been doing. <laughs> and I also want to ask you about Bill Hicks too, because I was a huge Bill Hicks fan, and you know, it, it was a bit strange that he died so young, with all the shit he was saying. You got anything well, on that also, one? He also parked pretty damn hard. That's all I'm gonna say. I've been told stories about him and him and. Yeah, that's the government uh, messing with his phone. All right, listen. Yeah, they're messing no, with your no, phone no, just no, as you're about you to talk me? about like Bill to, Hicks. I'd like, to, I, I, I'd like to tell you the thing about the family guy. You hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I apologize that I'm I'm on this cell phone. Uh, my parents uh, are right by my office. I, I live out in the country, like a 45 minute drive. So I didn't get home till 5 a.m. Slept for two hours, and, and that's why. I'm actually wrapped up in a blanket. I'm standing outside so my cell phone works. Let me tell you the family guy conspiracy. Okay, okay. Here's my the family guy conspiracy. Paul. Go ahead. Yes. Okay. My my writer Paul Watson saw a, you know, hundreds of blogs. Your writer? You have a writer? <laughs> your writer yeah, helped you with all your websites. conspiracy theories? Is this where yes, you come I have a babysitter too. Ideas? Yes, I, I have. Hold on. Close the helicopter, Bob. Sorry, sorry. How would you explain your fucking fucked up Boston oh Marathon God, man, family guy? Oh, my God, you just blew my whole me. cover. How the hell did you do that? I don't know. How I'm the only hell did you just do that? I don't know. Oh, my God. You just blew my whole cover. Oh, my God. Now, now they know. No, you blew your own cover. Oh, is that Guys, right for me. <laughs> Guys, right for me. Oh, what boy. My God, the teleprompter oh broke. It's like I'm Obama. Fucking right. I don't know what to say. Guys. I'm not a real actor. All right, listen, Obama. Lindsay, you're you're killing. But we love you. Yeah, let him let him just. Uh, let, let yeah, him I, 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 I want to hear the family, family guy conspiracy. I want to go out with Lindsay. Okay. Hi, Jimmy. I love you. Thank you, Lindsay. Oh, send a picture for Jim Norton. What a nightmare girlfriend, though, arguing with her. <laughs> wow, <laughs> right? This is, a, this is a fucking preview of what you'd have to deal with. Yeah. You'd lose every time, but it's okay. I'd still do things to you. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that's, that's good trade-off for Jim Norton. Hey. All right, go ahead, uh, Alex. Like a raging bull. When I said, get in there and cook me a steak, lady. <laughs> By the way, Tom Papa checking in. He thinks we're talking to Ron White. <laughs> uh, all right, go ahead. I want to hear, I want to hear this. Uh, go ahead, uh, Alex. Okay, well, I have the news sites. You know, one of the biggest ones out there, an alternative media man, Infowars.com, another gratuitous crash plug there for the Infowar. <laughs> and, 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 and yes, I have about, I don't know, 15 writers or so, about eight of them on salary. But the point is, Paul, Paul Joseph Watson, my writer, uh, saw all these blogs and blurbs with a 15-second clip of the Family Guy that aired on March 17th titled, I think it was Turbaned Cowboy, where, where, where the Tea Party starts working with Al-Qaeda. Gee, that never really happened in the real world, but that's part of every show demonizing it, and I mean every frickin' show that's a fiction. So he writes the article, and, uh, and he went to you know the, the uh, Fox website, saw the original episode, 
Uh, it's definitely, you know, it was a real episode. We, he took the, well, he didn't take it. The people that had the video online took the two clips of one where it shows him running over or driving away from piles of bloody people at the Boston Marathon. And then they say, how did, how did you do it? And he holds up his cell phone and detonates it not once but twice with a bomb. And so that's, that's two bombs is how he won the Boston uh, Marathon. And right. it shows blood all over the ground. And so we said, man, people are pointing this out that it predicted it, that somebody basically copycat uh, off of this show. And then the, the uh, maker of it came out and said, this is outrageous right. that we did this. And, and the L.A. Times, everybody said that we made up a hoax about this, and they're erasing it off TiVo, and in some areas now saying it never existed. First it was that we edited it together, which we just showed the two scenes back to back. Now it's that it doesn't even uh, exist, and it's a hoax. So, and, and that we're, you know, we're hurting the families. When I thought he made the episode about people being bombed in a comedy at the um, marathon, so 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 that is the incredible mind control level of all of this. When all we do is report on some internet meme, confirm it was a real episode, confirm it was a real show, and then they're sitting there freaking out about it. Uh, it's just simply amazing. But I heard it was two episodes or so that were cobbled together to make it sure. look that way. No, it's from the same episode. That was one episode where he's talking about uh, the Boston Marathon and sets off two explosions. Yeah, we played the short clip yesterday. Hey, Bob Cox is sent to him. How did you win the Boston Marathon? Uh oh, it's the government. The government's cutting out a cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no, ma'am. No, you know what? You're right. The government loves you. Like I said, ma'am. And you know the Harvard I study of Michigan. The government loves me, but the I don't Harvard study of the government is much more. Is lowering IQs, and you're an example. So drink deep, drink well, <laughs> drink good, my little sweet. Drink up, drink up, my friend. <laughs> yeah, I just want to know, but there's one thing that she mentioned, and that was, like, again, but I, I do want to know, because I'm a direct question guy, and this is why conspiracy theorists are, don't like me, and I'm asking, <laughs> what is, like, again, you raised some good points about individuals in the TSA and the airports who are unpleasant guys, and I don't disagree with you, but that I'm talking about as a whole, there are so many people that scream about the TSA and fuck the TSA and illegal search and seizure, so I'm saying is, what is if the T, if the TSA is wrong? What is the alternative to the TSA? Alternative is as Jesse Carroll has said. The government's not letting him answer, Jimmy. Uh oh, man. No, no. Can you hear me now? Now I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. got you back. <laughs> right, no, I was I was running the house. Hold on. Listen, let me just tell you the alternative. The alternative is to get back to the Fourth Amendment because you see how. Oh, we've got to grope you and take you in a private room and put you in an X-ray machine and, and, you know, backscatter machine and do all this because terrorists hit the airports. Now they hit the Boston Marathon. Now we're going to have to have troops on the streets and grope you there. And, and still, a bomber right. would just we're going to have to keep people line. from running. Shut Everybody up. needs and to stop a running. A bomber would just go, stop a bomber running. would just go, shut up. Jesus Christ. I can't not have a woman stop sitting there the nagging me. <laughs> Jesus, I bet you don't have a boyfriend, do you? <laughs> I have a husband. I'm married, actually. I'm married and happily married at that. Oh, my God. I still love anyway, you, Jimmy, though, just, too. You did say you were divorced, though. No, that was my ex-husband. I'm married again. But yeah. I still love yeah. you. Oh, God. A new person to torture. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> my point is... <laughs> That's right. That's right, motherfucker. He wasn't man enough to handle me, so I left uh, that. That's right. That's right. You're bragging how you dominate and ruin men. <laughs> <laughs> More vaccines. Well, You've driven Norton to about it, right? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Should we let Lindsay go? Yeah. I, th Lindsay, you're terrific. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Lindsay, Lindsay, thanks Lindsay, thank so you, much. And uh, all the best to your friend, okay? Yeah, yeah. Wish your friend luck. All right. All right. Thanks. All right. Lindsay from uh, Hey, wait. We should have got her information off the... Uh, oh, maybe she, maybe she went to school with the guys. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, we got her on hold. <laughs> thanks, Alex, Lindsay. Sorry, sorry about that. That was... You know how radio goes. <laughs> that was that was way too entertaining to blow off. No, I certainly... I mean, I didn't enjoy talking to her. I'm awake now, though. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <I'm> you're <laughs> guys, like, laying in the bed. I'm awake, yeah. Now, again, you're talking about things outside the airport. And I don't disagree that, hey, they may want to use this to make that. I'm only talking. About, and I'm asking you specifically for a reason. I'm not trying to break your balls. I'm asking for real. 
The airport has been the point of contention for a lot of anti-government or conspiracy guys. It has been a rallying point. Is this fucking airport security? And I think it's a phony rebellion and a phony form of being a maverick. So I'm asking, how does that violate us? Would you prefer that there was no security in the airports? No, you're right. You've caught us. It's all a phony. No, no. It's right. I, I, when I say phony, I mean not phony as in you're liars. I mean phony as in when I when I mumble a curse under my breath that I know my mom won't hear. I don't mean phony like it's a conspiracy. I mean it's just it's a silly rebellion. It doesn't do anything. Mm. So would you have, would you prefer what's the alternative to the TSA well, that, for I mean, airports? They're taking a lot of the body scanners out. They're 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 backing off and they're groping. The TSA is prisoner compliance <clears throat> training to train you that you're a perpetrator and you ah. have no rights and you're guilty until the government has enslaved you. Right, that's an answer. But it's not. It's a prelude to it's training people to walk through things, to step on this line, to not cross that line. And then the next step will be... That's the same training you get when you, get, when you show up at prison. But airport security, <laughs> hold on, airport security, so okay... So if that's the answer, mm -hmm. what is the alternative? What option would you have to protect people on I'd planes, rather, or do you rather not Ventura want security? Said, as Jesse Ventura said, I'd rather face the danger. Okay, <laughs> that's the answer. You would prefer to have no security on planes, and Jesse Absolutely. Ventura... I'd okay, love, fair I'd enough. I'd love to put well, good-looking stewardesses fair back enough. in. I and accept that. cars to be well, really awesome again. Well, look at all the security measures they put in place after 9-11. Like, we can't even go in and out of buildings anymore without, you know, showing ID and having badges and going through this thing and that thing. And attacks have been minimal. It's, it kind of helped. But this is oh, yeah, a... But, have, our government... You know what? Look, listen, it's now in all over the news that our government's putting Al Qaeda, real Al Qaeda, in Libya and Syria, just murdering and taking over. People go, "Yeah, we have them kill each other." No bull. Our government has given them ten thousand heat-seeking missiles out of Libya, so they can now tell the that's so dumb. Oh, you got to give your rights up. Al Qaeda's got missiles now. Good to know I'm America's still in control threat. in the world. Exactly. I mean, listen. Type in military growing opium in Afghanistan. About five years ago, it was coming out. The troops were mad about growing opium. Right. Opium production went from 9% worldwide to 93% out, uh, out of Afghanistan. And so what did the Pentagon do? They had Fox, CNN, BBC, ABC, and go all these up, all come on the same week and go, yes, the troops helped grow the opium. We load it on C-130s. <laughs> if we catch you using it in America, we're going to put your ass in jail. Mm. So they just hit it in plain view. They go, okay, kids, yes. You're so dumb, you can't even get the contradiction, America, they said. We're going to admit we grow the opium over here so Al-Qaeda doesn't get it. We have to control the drug trade, uh, or it's complicated, uh, because if we don't grow it and ship it in, Al-Qaeda will get it. How about you decriminalize the crap? Oh, you don't want that, government, because that's how you brought down China and broke it up colonially, was they were dumb enough to make opium illegal. And so you were able in 50 years to take over through corruption and take over the police and then bring down China. The drug war is meant to bring down Europe, bring down America, make everybody a suspect. Now they're moving on to everybody's a terrorist. Mm -hmm. Now they're saying the people that talk about liberty and want guns and think we shouldn't be able to take money out of your bank account for no reason, they're going to blow through. I agree. I agree with them on that one. Boy, uh, the, the villainization of... Uh, Americans that, that are, want to adhere to the Constitution, want to uh, bear arms, their right to bear arms, um, uh, and, and, and keep their civil liberties, uh, are now the bad guys uh, in this country that, that are portrayed in everything from commercials to movies to the mainstream media news as the oh. bad guys. Oh, I, yeah. I, I agree, I agree with you on that. And the Pillsbury Doughboy is now being groped. Uh, and, like, enjoying it with a little pervert. And all but do you believe that we caused the event so we could push our agenda uh, through? I believe shit happens, and then the government goes, oh, this is this is great. We can now push some of our agenda through. I believe they well, uh, are. Are we, are we actually, are, is the government actually causing the event that allows them to push the agenda through? That's the question. Well, they've been caught, like, doing Gulf of Tonkin to get into sure. Vietnam and so many other issues. So, I mean, listen, here's all I'm begging people to understand. Mm-hmm. They don't need to build things and compete anymore. Special interests can stage stuff, provocateur a few events, grandstand and script it, and then get us to collectively have a guilt like we're all terrorists 
and this country's being converted into a giant prison from the beautiful, wonderful nation it is, that we're getting away from the Bill of Rights and Constitution. And again, they've got Geico commercials with the Pillsbury Doughboy begs to be groped by the TSA in some subconscious pedophile thing. Huh. Uh, you know, I, I mean, I mean, this is all out of control. Oh, this right. isn't what freedom okay. looks like. Mm-hmm. All right, Alex, because uh, we got to wrap up. Uh, walk us through what's going to happen now with the uh, the Boston Marathon bombing. Are we going to are we going to catch a suspect, and and what does that mean? I, I, I mean, regardless of uh, regardless of it was lone wolf, which does happen sometimes, it's very rare. Or it could be like the Olympic Park bombing; they'll try to frame two or three patsies, like Richard Jewell, before they find the next patsy. You know, Eric Rudolph. I mean, who knows what's true? The government ran the anthrax attack. That later came out. They killed the third patsy. Uh, they made. I don't remember that. Body. So, so, so all this is going on. They're already now saying it's the culture of the right winger, and, and, and they're all over the news going, you know, who's worse than Al Qaeda? Yeah, Janet was right. Napolitano said it'd be the libertarians. Those bastards. They hit mm. us again. And, and so they're building up the whole thing scripting. You can just see the scripting. They're building it up and drawing it out like an Agatha Christie of, of like, oh, everybody's a suspect, especially the white males, but never the government that historically. Okay. All right, Alex, we understand that because you've made that yeah. point so many times. But how is this going to now play out? What, what is going to be presented to us in the next coming sure. days? That's all I want to know. Sure, and I apologize. I'm being here. I'm no, no sure. worries. But, I mean, you, you've been. Right, let me tell you how it's going to play out. Let me tell you how it's going to play out. All right. They're going to announce that, well, we're going to have to have TSA certify, this has already begun, your locals, that they wave a magic wand, where they can now violate your Fourth Amendment and grow you. They're going to have the military, they've already mm-hmm. announced, at events, not just Kentucky Derby and big events like that. They've already done that at the beta test of the Super Bowl. The military is going to be absolutely everywhere. More searches. Uh, and, and, and you're going to learn to just have your bags searched. It won't matter if you pull into a parking lot. And you're going into a electronic store, and there's two army guys there, or, or there's two goons there, and you're like, anybody could drive in this parking lot. I could walk up and do something. And right. if you say that, they're going to throw you down, put you in handcuffs. And okay. Say, I understand what he's saying too. This is they, if they just out of nowhere. Let's say it's 19 fucking 55. Leave it to Beaver kind of atmosphere in the country, and a police or a, a, a military personnel walked up to you and said, "I'm going to check your bag." People would go like, "Get the get fuck, the fuck out, out of here!" Out of I here. have the right to. But we're being lulled into this sense that we are all potential perpetrators, so that we're giving okay. up. We're giving up our rights. Um, under this guise that it is for our own good and our own safety. And the only way to do that is to slowly um, and progressively uh, uh, train us through using tragedy to victimize and and make us guilty so that we will open our bags voluntarily. But I, we'll give yeah, up we, our videotapes. We'll, we'll give up pictures and our cameras and everything. I disagree, though. I think in 1955, people are much more cynical now. I think in 1955, it might have been odd to hear, but if a cop goes... Hey, I need to check you. I think a guy would go, well, go right ahead. I haven't yeah, done anything wrong. I think back then, I think, Paul, I think back then, there was, yeah. back then there was an omnipotent view of the government. I think now, after Kennedy's assassination, people are much more cynical now than they've ever been huh. and less trusting. What administration did this start in, and is every administration involved in this? Well, Kennedy said no to a plan of Operation Northwood <laughs> to uh, shut out, and this is declassified, this is ABC News, you can read the thing at the National Security yeah. Archive online, that's yeah. Operation Northwood. Uh, they called for a plan. Uh, the Joint Chiefs green-lighted this. This isn't just like a plan. This was a green-lighted operation. He said no to L.L. L. Lemnitzer, and uh, that was the Joint Chiefs of Staff Chairman. They were going to bomb D.C., bomb Miami with plastic explosives at public places. <clears throat> We've seen that before. It even described how to frame the patsies, but first build up uh, for a week or so, um, you know, all the tension of who did it, and how to commit mass shootings to then blame Cuba and the Soviets to have World War III. Mm-hmm. And, and that's when Kennedy, this is all on record, sent an, an internal cable to Khrushchev and said, you listen to me and you listen good. This is on record. He said, they're going to kill, there's going to be a coup, and they're going to nuke your ass. And, 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 and General LeMay of the Air Force has got the frickin' nukes loaded right now. we got 10 to 1 superiority on you. You better back down right now. These people are not fucking playing games. Okay? Mm-hmm. That's all what happened on record. Operation Northwoods, and Kennedy said no. So then he tried to abolish the Federal Reserve. 
He signed the executive order to do it. He signed the executive order to pull the troops out of Vietnam. They were already there as advisors, uh, over 50,000 of them, and they blew his head off in front of everybody and said, oh, a lone nut did it, you know, a lone guy. It's the same story over and over again, but you're absolutely right with whether it's staged or not. This is the acclamation for prison training. And, yes, in the 50s, people would have said yes for a little bit or, or in a specific area. Right. But, if it, but if they tried this all at once, they would have said no. Plus right. The police do what authoritarianism. I've seen the, the training films for our military in the 50s, and it was like, in authoritarian countries, everyone's a suspect. You can watch these films online. In authoritarian yeah. countries, people spy on you. In authoritarian countries, when you go to a public place, your bags are searched. Not in America. I mean, a cop, if they said go search people randomly at the park, would say, well, who's the suspect? What's the reason? What's right. the probable cause? Yeah, that Who was my point, for? too. Right. They wouldn't, say, they wouldn't say, oh, yeah, let's just randomly walk into a shopping mall and just walk up to some old lady indiscriminately and stick our hands down our pants to see if bin Laden's hiding. I mean, it just wouldn't on, be done. Folks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. All right. I agree with you, Alex, uh, on, on that take. A few of the other things uh, you lose me on, but I definitely agree there's some shenanigans going on. Uh, great talking to you. Uh, get the, I'm going to keep uh, uh, yes. watching uh, Infowars.com. Yeah, I was going to say get the plugs out. I don't know what he wants to plug today. And, Alex, and, and, my and, Boneyard guys, show? I apologize. Uh, I apologize for uh, being on cell phone. Uh, just uh, like I said, I only got two hours sleep. I'd love to come back. Alex, on. Alex, you're all right. Believe me, uh, yeah. you, you're, you're fucking entertaining. Is you're a very enjoyable person. Love, love it. What's the Twitter? Real Alex Jones? Yeah, I never. I was late to the Twitter game, so it's pretty pathetic. Only like 180 thousand followers, but I put out some pretty good stuff at Real Alex Jones right. and Infowars.com, and we have the nightly news, Prison Planet. Right. TV. Okay. And uh, it's all right there, folks. And look, I'm for real. All I want is the truth. Our mm-hmm. liberties in closing are the most valuable thing we've got. Money can be taken. Our lives can be taken. Property can be taken. Our kids can be taken. If you don't have due process, criminal elements, even if good elements are in government now, which they're not, bad mm-hmm. ones will fill that vacuum as soon as there's not a check and a balance. It's like a dam. Yeah, you know? and, I agree. And, okay. And, right. and when the dam's gone, the flood will happen. So, gentlemen, all of you guys, God bless you. Thanks for having me on. All right, Thanks, Alex. Alex Jones. Um, wow. Uh, <laughs> lots of digest uh, there. Well, God damn. Uh, the one thing I want to say about Alex <laughs> Jones, it, it, he, 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 he's like uh, a, a piece of steak. With a lot of fat. Like, you know there's good <laughs> shit in there? You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, 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 yeah. But there's so much fat around it that is frustrating to me. He's he's uh, he's a character. It's 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 hilarious. But uh, he wouldn't say he's a character. No, no, no. He's, uh, maybe yeah. maybe he, needs when his, he needs his credibility with his people. I understand what he's doing. Right. Um, and, and there are certain aspects I agree with. Uh, sure. I, I don't think I don't think there's as much sinister stuff going on right now as overtly as he's putting it out to be i do think there's sinister stuff going on and i i do think the government does enjoy a population that gets in step like cows uh going to the slaughterhouse and and this is this setup this this way that the american people are being told that for their safety, they have to do this and this and this. If we're willing to just rip our shoes off at the airport, and that is a very dangerous area. You make a good point. You obviously don't want to get on a plane if no one's been checked. But that's the perfect place to not test, but, but kind of acclimate people to the fact that an authority figure for your safety can tell you, hey, take your fucking shoes off, motherfucker. Why? Because I told you to. Now, it makes sense at the airport, and I understand that, and, and that's the way we want it. But then maybe down the line, a place that doesn't quite make sense, you have an authority figure, and you're so acclimated to obeying at this point in our lives that we will fucking go for anything. I, un- I do understand that, but I also think that a- as time has gone on and people have become so much... Less trusting of the gut because I'm not a I don't I'm not an idiot I don't no, I tremendously argue that no I mean I, <laughs> I tremendously value my privacy I tremendously value my civil liberties I just I look at these things and if I was getting pulled over and stopped and asked questions it would it annoy me a lot mm. it would annoy me a lot 
But, you know, whenever we hear people talk about, like, well, I was stopped because of my race, sometimes they're bullshitting, and sometimes they're telling the truth, and we look at them and go, ah, shut the fuck up. Like, we, we already have that, and we don't mind it. Like, uh -huh. when you hear the couple black guys pulled over, and they go, oh, we were just stopped because of our race, driving to a, a, a white neighborhood, which does happen. Yeah. And they're outraged, and they're justifiable to be outraged. We look at that, and we go, ah, what's the fucking price you pay for other blacks fucking up? Right. Well, maybe this is the price we, you know what I mean? It's, I'm not saying it's right. Or even what my point is, I, I don't know. I just think we already yeah, have yeah. that a lot more than we think. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that we are as compliant Oof. as conspiracy theorists think that we are. Really? No. Because I see a very compliant you know, population. In the, in the airport, though, it makes sense. Yes. And I'm comfortable with it there because I want other passengers checked. Where are we not compliant? I see us compliant whenever we're told by a, an authority figure and, and a government entity to do something, we fucking do it where, as a population. Where is searching, hold on, where is searching and stuff? Look, what's, look what happened in uh, these stop and frisks and certain subways and stuff, which I actually at times agree with. Uh -huh. uh, it was stopped because people were outraged about it. When people are loud enough and people yeah. scream hard, believe me, with Twitter and everybody telling yeah. you, you have everybody telling you something at once. But now, back the fuck but off. But now you're hearing stories of p private citizens in their own homes being um, singled out because of uh, their their writings, what they've written online, freedom of speech yeah. issues come into play. And then you get an authority figure or entity that comes over to the house to question people. Th that is an intrusion. Right there is an intrusion. Yet the public doesn't look at that and say, motherfucker, why the hell is the government getting in this guy's business? They look and say shit like, well, he must be up to something. No. We've all been trained to look at everyone as a suspect. Because I, I apologize, Rich. I know you're going to say it, but, I, but one of the reasons for that, and I'm not saying it's right. Yeah. But again, where, what's the, what, how do we handle it? What has happened is people who are committing certain crimes and doing certain things are a lot of times writing what they're going to do. And they're, it's almost like if you threaten the president. The Secret Service will always talk to you. It's a rule. So when people are printing manifestos and they're doing all this stuff, and, and then all of a sudden somebody writes something when they do nothing, that person go out and commits a murder, then people are like, why the fuck didn't you do anything? It's almost like they're damned if they do, they're damned if they don't. And I know that you're saying you that there's... You can't give up your liberties no, no, for I, this no, no, veil of safety. I agree. Yeah. That, but then when we do get hit, we better not fucking cry about it. Yeah, you're right. We better yes. not fucking blame the government and go, why aren't they protecting me? It's, it's, and again, I know that they probably do things, that, a lot of things they shouldn't do, and they are invasive cunts. But every time that they go to check somebody out, I don't think it's this giant civil liberties violation, because when things happen, we go, why the fuck didn't you protect us? The first thing we do Just the is fact look that to we them. want the government to protect us from random events is re fucking ridiculous. Yeah. It can't be done. There are certain things in place. We have a military, we have police force, we have things that are in place to protect us in, right. in, in, to a, a point. But as a free society, things are going to happen. When you start limiting those freedoms to try to keep bad things from happening, it's the opposite of what the fuck this country is supposed to be. Yeah, but you're saying with all these inconveniences, the checkpoints, this and that, this would never happen back in the day. On the opposite spectrum, look at all the positive things that the public can do with the Internet. With with Twitter, with with flying helicopters that you have that can spy on people. Yeah, well, that, so on that's the going away. I, well, on but, the opposite end. Yeah, on the opposite end. But the, we're doing are, rich the, on you know, the outside. Things are always presented to us under this guise of of convenience and safety and things like that. It's never we're never told by the government that we are going to do this to infringe on your rights. We're always told that we are doing this for your safety. We're doing this for your convenience. Look uh -huh. how easy it is now. You could do this online. Uh, go to our government website and fill this out. Now, meanwhile, you don't know where the fuck those records go. And then later you find out that they are being used uh, by the IRS or by some other government agency to fuck you in the ass. And the, and, and just the opposite. You have ways to fuck them in the ass. Really? Yeah. yeah. You know, well, this point is not stupid. So the, the way information is given out, and the and the way we can communicate. Remember how years ago Scientology could fuck with you because they could just wreck your life, uh -huh. yeah. and now you can go on. You can go on. There's, there's a, the playing field is a lot more equal than people think it is. Uh, it's more equal than it's ever been. I think we have a perception of that, but we, as far as the government is concerned, we, we have no recourse but look at for them, anything they do to us. But they, look at how many of them are vulnerable too. It's almost like this this blind. Pat, and, and again, Petraeus was the example. 
You cannot O'Neal? get more. You cannot get more <laughs> fucking top secret than that guy. You cannot get more right. in the loop than that motherfucker. And he got brought down. Well, by I'm sure a conspiracy theorists would say that. They, well, they fucking wanted, wanted, wanted him guy. out, right? But who wanted? Who has more juice than that guy? Like you, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, right. Oprah. Look, mm. look at look at the look at the people of power, who are injured mm. by the fact now that these little nobodies, these average little people that we are, have a big voice. How many of these fucking people are brought down by little regular yeah. blabbermouths now? Well, that Shit is true. Never right. happened yeah. before. So Rich is right in that where it, it, the public has a lot more power. But we also than rat each do. other out. We again, again, under the guise of convenience, we've become our own big brother yeah. as far as ratting each other but out, that was like posting a... pictures. No, it was never like that, Rich. We not even we, close. If, if you went to a neighbor and ratted him out to a government entity or oh. his employer and stuff, it reeked of Nazi Germany. This is a, 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 an era of information, convenience, photographs, video that we use against each other. Not even uh, in vindictively a lot of times. A lot of times it's, wow, that's funny. Look at what this guy did. Let me put it online. And his boss goes, fuck, what an asshole. I don't want him working for me. And now he's fired. It's this weird thing where where this, this convenient thing we have to communicate with each other, to get information, is also turned on us to fuck us over if... We need to be fucked over. But we did it. I know. We, exactly. We post we are the, the videos. We the people. We do Dude, it. Dude, I understand that part yeah. of it. But there's a power base, too, that can manipulate things. And and I don't think people are as clever and as forward-thinking to see that this would have come about. <laughs> but the fact that it did come about, it's being used. Just like these tragedies. I don't think the government is blowing people up on a fucking marathon route. But they will use the tragedy yes. to their own to ends. Push their agenda to push forward. agendas. Exactly. With that robot thing, if that's a real thing. That, that's a lot of money for some kind of, you know, for, for a company. Yeah. Well, and yeah. now you can push that agenda through like, look, obviously, you know, every city needs these robot people, right. or whatever the fuck yes. Alex Jones yes. is talking about. Hey, uh, uh, two other things really fast. I, I can't believe I have to read this tweet, but I, I understand Twitter's uh, full of assholes and idiots. But this guy writes, uh, Opie, no way you should have let Alex Jones shit on uh, that, that woman like that. What? She fucking oh, handled herself she fucking beautifully. Destroyed. <laughs> so what are you talking about? <laughs> she was great. So funny. And then, it, it, then it, it, it looks awkward if we jump in to protect the woman. She, she was great. She, when, she protected when, herself. When he, was, when he was saying, like, yeah, I didn't get much sleep, but I was doing it. And then he, she just goes, wah, wah, right. wah. Wow, I don't even, hilarious. I, I'm amazed by what people Please. hear out there sometimes. I, I, she more than took care of herself. Why jump in the way of her? She was fucking swinging. She more than took care of herself. I, I love and, the part where she said she was happily married, but she would do anything to this fucking... Uh, yeah, me. Jimmy, oh. she loves Jimmy. <laughs> I made Jimmy happy. Yeah. Yeah. He loves Jimmy. Her right now. <laughs> Imagine that, though. Imagine that, Jimmy, just fucking yelling at you. I don't know. Where the fuck? Why the fuck? Did that would make Jimmy very God. turgid. Stop And it. the other thing, before we move on, I asked Sam to make a list. Were you able to make a list? He was talking pretty fast. There. <laughs> oh, yeah. You want to go through the list? We're, we're, we enjoy a good list on this program, Rich Voss. I made a list of lessons from Alex Jones. Oh, you did? Yeah, just things that I learned that did I didn't know. Did you get the, uh, what's he going to call it, industrial complex in there? The uh... No, I didn't get that. Yeah, yeah that's a good one. Fucking mm. cocksucker. Mm. This is what I told you. Yeah. This is what uh, Sam took away up, from shit. the Alex Jones Heal. hour. Okay. It was about an hour. He took notes. Alex Jones. He took notes. Uh, there's a 10 percent chance that the bombing is not staged. 10 percent. 10 percent chance that the bombing mm, okay. at the Boston Marathon. Right. Uh, this is a false. Not staged by what? The government. Right. He said. He said. There's. It's a 90 percent chance that the government staged this. Got right. Yep. Uh, this is a false flag, self-inflicted wound by the grandstanding police state. All right. God, he self-inflicted wound. Uh, oh. Can... Obama killed 200 plus people at a wedding. <laughs> Alex watches the new Hawaii Five-O. <laughs> well, we did learn that. We did learn that. Uh, the TSA <clears throat> let Shooter Jennings walk through security with weed. With and they gave him his Chiba back. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> cities are buying 15 million dollars worth of robots. It's true. Mm -hmm. The Unabomber was in a CIA mind control program. Mind control. He was. An air, an air force psychiatrist knew what James Holmes from Aurora was doing, and now they're drugging him to tell the truth. All right. Yeah. The government is planning to implode the economy. Training manuals are coming out warning of veterans attacking. Uh. Kim Jong Un hangs out with transsexuals. <laughs> we did learn that. 
<laughs> people died in Gardasil tests. They passed it anyway, and it's still killing people. Oh, yeah. The polio vaccine has paralyzed many kids. The government is putting out fake conspiracy theories to make Alex's theories seem less credible. Alex has ex CIA members at his family reunion <laughs> saying that he's on, he, that he's right on the money. Yeah. And uh, the Family Guy clip, even though Seth MacFarlane said it was not real, was real. Was real. Fuck well, yeah. That's a little suspicious though. What? Seth's where lying. Did, where did he get that episode from before it aired? What was that? It didn't air. Yeah, it's a bunch of bullshit. It's not real. Hmm. Fuck yeah. You think it is real, Chip? Fuck yeah. <laughs> And and the economy will take another shit sooner than later too. Yeah, the government. I completely believe that. Oh, yeah. you mean I, why? I don't I've know. Been, I don't know if it's that. the government's uh, purposely doing it. I don't know, no. but it absolutely will will take a it's shit. It's the again. ebb and flow of the market. It's been riding high for too long. It's setting records. The only thing that's been keeping it this high this long is that the economy is so shitty. There's nowhere else to put your money. Remember in the early 2000s when we were over at NEW um, and we were really keeping tabs on the stock market? We'd be like, oh, fuck, they're fucking raising interest rates. Uh, it's going to bring the fucking market down, you know, because people can then take their money and uh, put them in interest-bearing accounts and whatnot. Right. And they used to like, all right, oh, what are they going, a quarter? Are they going a quarter or a half today? Oh, they haven't talked about interest rates in years because... There aren't any. Yep, it's right. down to nothing. Point. That's the only, and, and there's no real safe, profitable place to put money anymore except the fucking market. And that's not even safe. That's but scary. At least, at least you have a chance to make some money. Yeah, but we're all going that but, direction, but which these, is scary. But, the, but well, uh, this, this is my fucking thing I have with, with people that go, oh, if everything's so bad, how come the uh, Wall Street is, is setting records in the stock market? Exactly, because the economy sucks, you dumb motherfucker. There's nowhere else to put your goddamn money. Invest, invest, invest in lemon hats. Oh, right. There's these clear hats that you can put lemons in. Yeah. And it just makes everybody's day oh. sunny. Take us out. <laughs> the lady at my fucking bank is like, <laughs> why don't you put your money in this and it'll get you to maybe two. I go at the, point, of the money. <laughs> I, go, I go, the money I have. Two percent. It's not what, or three percent. No, I, I, don't know, it's not even, I don't even think three. you get anywhere near Good two luck. or three percent. I go, bank I, go, I go, it's not worth taking a risk. Of losing what little I have, right. yeah. I'll stick with your point forty five percent interest. Isn't that amazing? Oh, How do they get away I, with that? And, I look at yeah. my bank statement. I'm like, why do I even I have money in this it's, bank? I know. For what reason? I bought a car the other day, point nine percent interest. Yeah, like there's no interest. It's it's free money They're you're, you're your... getting because you know they, they, there's they can't charge you. Mortgage interest. rates low too. Yes, yeah, yeah. 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 you can get right? I can almost missing. get them to two and three quarters. It's almost. crazy. Two and three quarters. Almost. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, the, the market is doing well because nothing else is. Right. There's no else where it's, to put And that's why it's money. scary as shit. And that's scary right. because that's the last bastion of fucking, right. like, making money with your money. Right. The market crash is big. Where are you putting your fucking money? I don't You're know. Better it's off going, going away. You're... Be Bill Devane and put it in gold. Gold took yeah. a giant yeah. shit the other oh, day. Yeah. So let's get it, in on, on the gold thing. Well, I think it went okay. back up, but even it's... gold Damn is showing it! weakness right now. I got a bunch gold of gold. Your best bet is Hi, I'm Bill Devane. My father told me to invest in gold and I did and I've done pretty well for myself look I got a plane and horses and a lot of property go fuck yourself I got a bag of gold I got, Do you? I got a oh, bag yeah. of urine. <laughs> you know, I'm going to buy gold. You want to take a piss and uh, come oh, back? and yeah. Well, yeah take we'll a bag up. of piece Wait. of garbage. Yeah. I got a good investment. The Opie and Anthony Show. The Opie and Anthony Show. On Sirius XM.